Nagbegor got rid of McKay, drove, got her own rebound on the O'Glass, put it back in. Deja Vu from the semi-final against the UC Caps. Points on 11 of 21 against the Flyers in a losing game on Wednesday. George pulls up from the free throw line and she helps herself to an easy two. Nagbegor at the top of the key. Thought about handing off to Karatiana instead. There's a little pick and roll game with Madgen, and it's successful. A lot of the Basketball Australia Hall of Fame is there. Sure is. George can swing to Madgen. Wide open for three. Bottom of the net for Tess Madgen. Up to five minutes remaining in the opening quarter. And straight back down to Kayla George. Fouled by Payne. And one play coming up. A championship with the Townsville Fire against the Melbourne Boomers. And now we see her a couple of years later. Fire by a couple. Back into the game and was found by McVigore. What a pass from Ezzy. Nice little give and go. And, and... Imagine I like the look of that matchup on Akuso. She's got long arms, Atina. She closes down. Imagine who scores with a hand in the face. Garrick back out there. McVigore out there too. And Imagine fires a tough shot. Good rebound, Purcell. Back to her way in. Pointer of the season, Steph Reed. She shot from outside at 46%. Purcell to first to Karatiana. That's a nice looking jump shot. Imagine's called for the foul. That's a good find that one. 27 21, the fire lead. Magbegor kicks it out to George. Extra pass to Imagine. Great ball movement, Boomers. But, you know, credit with. Is earned for these girls, they're professionals now, and, and as we see on play. Mia Murray back into the game for the fire. They certainly placing a lot of emphasis on that sub tonight. We didn't see much of her in the loss to Southside, but she's just come in for another experience veteran in Cape Bay. Behind and, and cause a turnover or steal. It's a really good duel to watch that one. McKay oh. swatted away by Magbagor. Great dive by McKay here, but oh, even oh. better. Shot clock down to 10 now. There she is, posting up on McKay. Tough move, even tougher finish. Indeed, considering she loves to go left on the spin, but doesn't like to finish with her left hand much. Find a way, but yep, she knows, you can see there, she's sealing McKay really well and just feels her behind her. Downloaded Kayla George immediately. Backing in on McKay, good defense. Kicks it out to Karatiana. Her scout was left and left. Left, up. left and left. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> uh, but she got it done and made a fascinating career out of it. As we see, finally, Miss Maddie Gary heel. I ain't switching on that. I'm locking down and trail and coming behind and trailing every time she's cutting. Imagine underneath to Magbagor. Points are good with one to come. It's long arms. It started with her with the offensive rebound and then again she just got in front of Mia Murray. But all the assets, Magbegor, it's pass to George, who misses from close range, and Magbegor puts it back in. Imagine if George worked together, the pick and pop, Magbegor, another offensive rebound. This time she'll take the responsibility on herself. This is a handy little two possession run here. Up the other end, Kayla George, as easy as you like, that's a bad defensive breakdown. Imagine with five on the shot clock. Ball through numerous sets of hands. It finishes with right. George on the offensive glass. How good was that? Into the game. Let's take a look at Kayla George once more. It's one thing to pull the rebound down. It's another to finish it off. And the, and the nice thing I've liked about Kayla is... First minutes now for Tony Farnworth, who we just saw there, the New Zealander. Perhaps a defensive role for her at the back end of the quarter. George with the mid-range jump shot for the Towns of Fire, but the only thing that's saving them is probably those 11 offensive rebounds. Nice move from Kayla George to get the Boomers started for the last quarter. Let's go to Megan Husway. Swings cross court, right. Found a way to get it to Magbegore, that's better. And that's just simple push basketball. First six, six, six seconds, I should say. On the grass and just having a presence. She's Working hard on Kayla George as well. It's tough from Stella Beck. Can't get away from Gaze. The play breaks down. That play worked out. Karatiana sliding to the basket.
Nice little start play. George. To Caratiana then. Garrick misses. Magbagor soars through the air and rebounds. Hill thought about it. Got rid of Garrick. How's the shake and the moves? And then the swap from Magbagor once again. Garrick in the open court. Thought they'd worn them all out, but there you go. Is he Magbagor, the rim protector? Yeah, indeed. We thought Shyla had broken the ankles of Mahi Garrick there, but, you know, as he had an answer for that and just be able to create a quick, fast break for Maddie Garrick. Imagine running the point for Melbourne. We'll look for the open player. They roll back to Magbagor. Huge basket for Ezzy. Precise.